you. Merry Christmas. Isn't it just? Um, I uh, come to collect this. My wife reserved it online. Sparkle Hoof, the unicorn princess. Uh, Sixty-four ninety-nine. Pardon me. No, uh, I think it's supposed to be 40 something. It was 44 99 when she preserved it, but she didn't pay for it then, so now it's 64 99 64 99 Sorry, is it an actual unicorn? If you pat its head, it blinks. If you touch its nose, it trots. I don't care if you scratch its arse and it unloads the dishwasher. This is a shakedown. Now, I'll pay you the original 40 odd quid, which is outrageous, but I'm not paying a penny more. That's fair enough. Sorry, sir, it's 64 99 you... <laughs> What kind of operation are you running here? It's worse than the mob. Is anyone hearing this? Huh? They're, they're hiking the prices up because it's Christmas. Jokers. They are jokers. Now, you can't just put up a bit of tinsel and, and play some Jonah Louie and expect us to just hand over the squilla. Yeah, spread that. You tell them, big man. Yeah, I am telling them. Sorry, sir, it's 64 It's the number one toy this year. Do you not watch the one show? Not religiously, no. Mm, that baker, bad boy presenter. I'm sure he is, but I'm not. Did you want the sparkle hoof? No. No, I don't. No, we don't. Not at those prices, no. Not at those prices, no. I'm going to take my custom elsewhere, all right? You're not the only show in town. Mm. I'll let the invisible hand of the market deal with you. I don't know what that means. No? Three words. Toys are us. Can I take that spot, Ruth? Dev, you appear to have put lights all over my house without asking. You're welcome, Andy. It's Andrew. I know we've been talking about it all year since you moved in, really, isn't it? Well, you've been talking about it mainly. I can see you weren't going to get round to it yourself, and I thought, at this rate, Christmas will be over and you won't have them up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it so very nearly worked out that way, didn't it? Yeah. And I know you're a busy guy. That's why we haven't gone for that drink yet. But... Hey! <laughs> get used to that. That'll be happening all Christmas. Oh, that's good news. Yeah. Well, see you later. Hey, Andy, look. Santa's doing a piddle. I noticed, yeah. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> no, Mum, honestly, the turkey's huge. You do not need to bring a ham. No, don't bring wafer-thin ham, either. It's not the thickness of the ham that I'm objecting to. Have you seen what him next door's been up to? Daddy! Emily! Honestly, oh, look at that, my darling. That's wonderful. Well done, you really sweetie. don't need to... Have you seen these lights? OK, Mum, if it makes you feel better, bring cocktail sausages, but one pun it. You said that you wanted them up. Does that sound like something I'd ever say? Oh, hello, mate. I know we've barely spoken, but I don't suppose you've got a giant urinating Santa you could hang above my front door, have you? It's just not Christmas without one. Sorry, Mum. Andrew's going off on one. Andrew, I've got a million things to do. It's not me you need to talk to about the lights, is it? I'll tell you what you can bring, Mum. A couple of bottles of gin. Dev. Hello, mate. Quick word, re the lights. Ah, <laughs> uh, you really shouldn't have put them up. Don't mention it, all right? For neighbours like you, people of your calibre, you and Claire, it's an honour. I should be thanking you, if anything. Come here. Ooh, thank you. Ah, that's intimate. But I'm telling you, you really shouldn't have. And I'm telling you, it's knee bothered, Andy. <laughs> Andrew, still Andrew. Oh, way! <laughs> Another one. Yeah. That's the, uh, Twelfth in the last ten minutes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's up? I can't sleep. Why not? Why not? Because it's two in the morning and the bloody lights are on. 
It's like being in a Turkish brothel, I imagine. <laughs> Andrew, what are you doing? I have turned to my superpower, Claire, the strongly worded letter. Oh, God. You want to hear it? Mm hmm. Dev, we are not friends. You're just the bloke who lives next door. And, sir, you're a vulgarian. I cannot stop you covering your own home in garish lights and incontinent Santas, but you ain't doing it to mine. Furthermore... Yeah, I get the gist. Reminds me of your infamous Bing Collections letter. Hey, that one got the job done. It made Councillor Hargreaves cry. He was already emotional because his wife had just died. You're not putting this through our neighbour's door. At a civilised hour, go and talk to him like a mature adult. Fine. <laughs> Are you pulling my train? What, they've just got to go off, have they? Well, who complained? Uh, yeah, hiding behind anonymity. Cancel. Right. No, well, the word I'd use is magical. What did they say? Vomit-inducing. Pathetic little weasel. And, and what if I say we're not going to do it? Huh? What about that? What if I tell you you can, you can stick it where the sun don't shine? Custodial sentence? Yeah. All right, well, have a good Christmas. Herr Hitler. Lights have to go off, mate. What, someone complain? Yeah, yeah. What kind of soulless monster would have a problem with these? Oh, don't get me started. I'm sick to the stomach. Well, I'll tell you what, mate. You gave him hell. Didn't I? Yeah. Didn't I? Yeah. You should have heard me in there. I was tearing him a new one. Effin and Jeffin, like blinking Gordon Ramsay. He's just had a particularly disappointing souffle. But the lights do have to come off. Oh. Oh. And permanently. Got it, mate. Oh. No, I know, it's sickening, it's sickening. I'm gutted, absolutely gutted. But, you know, they can, they can deflate our Santas, but they can't deflate what's in there. What? Christmas. Andrew, what's this? Ah, you spotted it, yes. That is a rather high-end chemistry set for Emily. Yeah, but I reserved a sparkle hoof online. Oh, sparkle hoof. Yeah, that's the big seller this year. I saw it on the one show. Did you? Yeah, well, what the one show doesn't tell you is that when you see it up close, it's really just a lot of plastic made in Taiwan rubbish. So I thought, no, that is not what my little baby's going to get. Yeah, but that's what she wants. She's been talking about it all year. All you had to do was collect it. Yeah, why don't you collect it? Yeah, well, ha. Huh. But I got to the checkout and they just hiked the price. Just like that, because it's Christmas. Unbelievable. Andrew, it was the first thing on her list. Oh, it was the first thing on her list? You don't get everything on your list, do you? That's well known. It's not a list of demands, like a ransom note. The list is there for us to just cast an eye over. Thanks very much for your suggestions. We'll take it from here, sweetheart. All right, I never got everything I wanted when I was a kid and it made me the man I am today. Well, I won't argue with that. Thank you. Wait, was that barbed? Sold out, of course. Right, well, thanks for your help anyway. Honestly, I don't think there's a problem. I think we just get behind the chemistry set. You know, it's got actual magnesium. Oh, actual magnesium. We'll put it with a brief history of time colouring book. I'll get it. You shall go to the ball, Cinders. Now's not a great time, Deb. <laughs> Do come in. Here he is, the man with the plan. Brown Santa here to the rescue. Are you perchance still in the market for a sparkle hoof? Because I found one online. Oh, thanks, Dev, but it's Christmas Eve. It'll never get here in time. Click and collect. You just have to go and pick it up, mate. Oh, my God, that's amazing. Thank yeah, you. That's great. Yeah, I mean, I was online for ages, right? And I was just like, okay, Deb, we can do this. I was like, kind of, you know, that minority report film? Yeah. Oh, I was like, that's just getting. Let me have a look at this. Sparkle hoof and Googling everywhere. Found one, it was fake. Oh, God. Found another site, and then bam. Amazing. And I've got it. Oh. I honestly think it might be the last one left in the whole of the UK. Wow. That is a magical story. Thank you. Better get a move on, though. It's in Carlisle. It's where? Carlisle. Well, how far is Carlisle? It's a bit of a mission. I mean, I, I realise that. Four and a half hours' drive. Well, that far, that is a mission. Oh, <laughs> well, that's too far on Christmas Eve, but thanks for meddling. You know what, Andrew? I think it is doable. A lot of things are doable. Yeah, it's definitely doable. I mean, if you leave right now... The thing is, you can't really put a price on your daughter's happiness, can you? No. No, you can't, but then her happiness will be heavily discounted on Boxing Day, so... OK, you know what? I'll go.
And then I'll come back and I'll do the turkey and the gammon and the roast potatoes and the carrots and the parsnips and the bread sauce and the cranberry sauce and the knobby greens and the devils on horseback and the little pigs in blankets and the Yorkshire puddings because Andrew insists on having them on Christmas Day. Wow, you're going to do all of that and drive to Carlisle? No, Dad. I'm being passive aggressive. Ah, didn't get that, did you? Did you not? No, there was a minor subtext. All right, off I go. Thank you. The nine hours to Carlisle and back. Wow. I'll tell you what, any chump who could find his flies can be a father, but that, that is a dad. Oh. Who said that originally? Was that Wordsworth? No, I literally just came up with it now. Did ya? Right, I'll get the tunes and snacks sorted and I'll meet you at the car. What? You get the car started and I'll get the tunes and the snacks. Oh, God, no. Because you've already done too much. Don't be silly, Andy. I don't mind. It'll be that drink that we never got round to. I think it'll be nice for you to have the company, Andrew. Do you? Because you know me. When I'm doing any kind of nine-hour journey, I prefer to do it alone. Just boom, get up there, get the job done, boom, straight back. No, but Andy, I have to come because it's on my card. Oh, he's got every base covered. <laughs> Isn't it my turn to do the turkey this year? No, definitely not. You're happy for us just to fall into our, into our stereotypical gender roles? Yeah, happy to let this one slide. <sighs> All right, well, yeah, off we go. Road trip, Carlisle, here we come. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck. Expecting the shotgun. Yeah, and that's all self-taught. It's just YouTube tutorials. Do singing as well. No need. Doesn't mean anything. It's just work. No. Not actually saying anything. No. Mom. No thanks. Come on. No, come on, put it in for you. No, Don't leave me hanging. And he's there now. Ah, uh, say ah. Look at that. There we go. <laughs> oh, Steph, Steph. Steph. Oh, that's the gas out of it now. Steph. Sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, I'll do the wipers. They're on the outside, Deb. Oh, God, yeah. Sod's law. You've got some on your glasses. Okay, I'm trying to drive. Sorry, sorry. Didn't even, didn't even see you carrying them. Yeah. yeah. Kai and Ethan, they go absolutely nuts for these. Do they? Yeah. yeah. I'll tell you what, they know it's Christmas when Big Puppy rolls up with these on the dashboard, <laughs> you know? Ho, ho, ho. That's one thing I have got over Dave, oh, yeah. you know? Yes, he's got a Range Rover, but he will not festoon it. I can see why, though, because they are making it quite hard for me to see the road. Are they? Oh, yeah. OK, sorry, mate. It's got a battery life of 40 minutes. <laughs> OK. That'll fly by. <laughs> <laughs> it's Christmas! <laughs> it's the fourth time you've done that, isn't it? Still funny, isn't it? Yeah, no, it is, yes. <laughs> no, I love Christmas. It's like Diwali, but with turkey, you know? And the kids love it as well, kind of. And I tell you what, when you see us playing, you won't know who's grown up, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> you've got them tomorrow, have you? Tomorrow, no. Um, Mandy's got them this year, so uh, Dave's actually taking them to Disney World, Florida, which is bloody nice of him. Now, tomorrow, I've um, got the day to myself, so. Well, I envy you. We've got a whole mob descending on us. Eat me out of house and home. <laughs> You're the lucky one. Getting worse. Isn't it? Yeah, who'd have thought that? On Christmas Eve. 
OK, you know what? Let's take this exit. Come off here. Really? Yeah, yeah, get off here. I know what I'm doing, 100%, 100%. Mark's getting staying on the motorway when it's like that. It's a chocker block. OK, so which exit am I taking here? Um, first, second, it doesn't really matter. You know, it's the beauty of the age that we live in. Have you not got a route in mind? It's the age of the sat-nav. What we'll do, we'll just go down here, then once it's seen that we've taken a diversion, it'll give us a new route. Recalculating. There we go, see, it's got us now. <laughs> At the first opportunity, turn around and take M6 northbound. It just seems to be telling us to turn around. Ignore it. OK, we need to show it that we mean business. At the first opportunity, turn around and take M6 All right, so where am I going here, left or right? You know what, it literally doesn't matter. Um, Right. Yeah, we'll just go down here for a bit. At the first opportunity, turn around and take M6 northbound. I don't think the plan's working. It's testing us. Carry on. Recalculating. Here we go. At the first opportunity, turn around. The ball's on this thing, M6 mate. Northbound. No, 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 what are you doing? I'm going to turn around and go back there where no, we can. No, Andy, honestly, it's going to be fine. We're in the middle of nowhere. It's gonna be, it's, we're just going to be driving Continue around. Continue for one mile. Ah, uh, here we go. Told you. <laughs> we're not out of the woods yet. Literally. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is there if I use that? <laughs> Note to self, um, if in woods and lost, just say, we're not out of the woods yet. <laughs> Why have you stopped? Why have I stopped? Because I'm going to have to reverse back up to that junction. What are you talking about? Just drive through. I can't drive through. It's flooded. It's a Ford. Haven't you ever forded before? Oh, I forded before, boy. All right? I'm one of the great forders. But the point is that this is flooded. It's, it's not passable. A Ford is a flood. A flood that's passable. That's the whole point. Andy, honestly, we haven't got time. I'll tell you what, let's what places I'll take her through. Hey! No, you're not getting behind this wheel, all right? No one drives this car but me. And that's not just me saying that. That's also Aviva. I'm not voiding my policy because of your antics. All right, let's go. Easy, 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 that's it. Easy, easy, nice and easy. There we go, there we go. What, what are you doing? Why have you stopped? Oh, God. That's it. Steady as she oh, goes. Oh, no, I knew it. We're stuck. OK, what you need to do is slowly give her some gas. I know how to drive a car. Thanks very much, Richard Hammond. We're stuck. <sighs> All right, that's on me, OK? My bad, my bad. I'll hold my hands up, OK? I'll take that one. You've got to admit when you... What are you doing? We're going to have to call a breakdown and get ourselves towed out. No, no, no. Hold on a minute. She just needs a little push. <gasps> Damn! Oh, God! Oh, Damn! Oh, God. God. Just what are you doing? Oh, God! All right. Sorry. What is wrong with you? Sorry. Oh, just sit there and try not to help. OK, sorry. <sighs> I got no signal. Shall I check my phone? Yes. It's just that you said don't help. Check your phone! Nada. No, no. I, I got... Anything? Ah, uh, I got a bot. Oh, no, it's going up. Oh, God. Yeah. What network are you on? Here we go. Oh, yeah. Got a full out here. All right, let's get this show back on the road. Oh, you're joking. Sorry. I should have waited. I just saw it and I thought, oh, God. Anyway, listen, let's get these blowers on you. Let's get you dried up, huh? Also, I just accidentally saw your winky there. There we go, back in the fast lane, making progress. Well, not exactly, because this is the same junction we came off at, is it? Nah, it looks different. It looks different because it's a bit darker now. Hey! 
There you go. Got you something to wear. That's all they had in your size. That's all they had. Deck the halls with balls of Literally can't find them anywhere. They're like gold dust. Yeah, yeah, I know it. You can't get hold of those for love nor money. I know, right? So, I go online, good neighbour, I only managed to find one, didn't I? Shut up. Click and collect. I honestly think it might be the last one left in the whole country. But, uh-oh, it's in Carlisle. Well, you know, just outside, you know, Kingsview Retail Park? And we're Bedford. Me and my mate Andy, we're going down there now to collect it. Oh, there he is. Andy! <laughs> if you're wondering, it's the only thing in my size. <laughs> this card machine's not working. Just give me a sack. I'll go look for another one. Yeah, no worries. Get out of my way! Come on. Uh, Andy. How about a cheeky five minutes on the arcade before we hit the road? No, me and you, come on, on the little mini motorbikes. <laughs> Show those boys he's got pubes. That's tempting. Yeah? Um, but the answer's still no. <sighs> How much money have you got? I don't know, 40 quid. Oh, nice one. Love, can we pay cash? Quicker, innit? <laughs> nice one, thank you. Right, just the two junior fun mills for you, is it? Yeah, I always get these, and I save the toys for Kai and Ethan. There you go, lovey. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. Good luck with your mission. Thank you. Oi, Merry Christmas, yeah? Merry Christmas to you. He's an elf. <laughs> Would you believe I'm VAT registered? <laughs> Sorry to bother you, gent, but I'm trying to get enough for the shelter. You haven't got any spare change. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm strictly plastic these days, but I'll tell you what, you can have my big boy milkshake. Enjoy. Oh, you're a gem. Isn't he just? You sure you don't have any spare change? I don't have any spare change currently, no. Andy, she just gave you some. You're literally holding it. It's not spare change, though, is it? That's just, you know what I mean? That's. I think he means kind of coins or something. No, 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 that's loose change. You'd accept a tenner, innit? Yeah. He'd accept a tenner. I'm sure he will. Yeah. Because he's, you know, a uh, homeless man. Oh. Oh, that is generous. <laughs> a tenner? Yeah. God bless you, sir. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, mate. Oh. You know what? The world needs more Andes. It'd be a better place. They'd all be skint, though, wouldn't they? <laughs> <laughs> um, you shouldn't do that, really, because I actually read an article once written by a former homeless guy. It was in the Telegraph, and he said that if you just give it to them, they just spend it on booze and drugs. Oh. So it's much better to give it to charity. Ah. Yeah. You do that, do you? Are you going to eat these? Because I don't want them in the Yeah, let's go. Obviously, the place is mobbed. So I'll tell you what, we'll beat the queue, OK? I'll pump, you pay, teamwork makes the dream work, yeah? Let's do this. I honestly think it might be the last one left in the whole country. <laughs> Carlisle, can you imagine? And we're Bedford. We're on our way up there now. <laughs> oh. Dev, by the way. Right, next stop, Carlisle! Why is it making that sound? That sounds bad. That's just diesel engines, isn't it? Noisy. What do you mean by diesel engines? Once again, just very, very sorry. Why in God's name would you just assume it's a diesel? OK, if I'm being honest, I thought, you know, switched on guy like you, does a lot of motorway mileage, it's got to be a diesel. What? Are we sure it's not a diesel? Yes, we're sure, because I remember five years ago when I bought it, it wasn't a diesel. Have a holly jolly Christmas. It's the best time of the year. All right, thanks. Bye. What'd they say? Apparently, a couple of squirts of Sillet Bang in the tank and we'll be good to go. Really? No, obviously not. It's going to take them three hours to get here and another 30 minutes to drain the tank. Oh. It's over, all right? Oh, Andy, don't say that. All right, listen, I'm going to sort it. I'm going to get us a lift. How are you going to do that? I'll bring you out the big guns. I'm tweeting. Just one retweet from a Lineker, a Rowling, an Edmonds. We're going to be swamped with offers. Dev, you've killed the car. It's over. No, no, Andy, I can fix it, I promise. Mate, mate it's Christmas. People like to help. Mate! Hey, mate! Can we do a car swap? Oh, this isn't working! Mate! You're going to get sectioned. Rightly sectioned. Oh. No, Dev. Mate, 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 mate! Ignore him, he just drank a whole bottle of Coke. Can we borrow your motor? We're just waiting for the breakdown, guy. We'll be two hours max. Dev, the man's trying to work. Leave him alone. Sorry about this. OK, please, look, we're trying to save a little girl's Christmas, yeah, and we need to get to the shop before it shuts. He'll give you 200 quid. What? 200 quid? Yeah. All right, yeah. That's it. We're going to Carlisle. We're not going to Carlisle, Dev. That's not a car, all right? That's one of those things you see in an airport that's taking elderly passengers to their plane because they're going to be late otherwise. No offence. 
It goes up to 50. It goes up to 50! It goes up to 50? No! This is madness! Yeah, I know, but what other choice have we got left? Uh, to not do it. Please try and stay positive, mate. This is nothing to do with staying positive, all right? This is not a vehicle for grown-ups. This is made by Fisher Price. No offense. <laughs> I don't get you, man. Like, what kind of dad are you? What kind of dad am I? Yeah. I'll do anything to save my kids' Christmas. I'll walk over broken glass, says the man who's only got to take his kids to Mega Bowl every other weekend. Tomorrow, my kids are going to be 4,000 miles away. If it meant that I could see them smile on Christmas morning, I'd be up that hard shoulder on a unicycle. So, uh, do you want to take Bertha or not? Night, night, sweetheart. <laughs> Remember, the sooner you go to sleep, the sooner it'll be Christmas morning. Night, night, Daddy. Sleep tight. You put Mummy back on. Hello. So how's it going? Not great, if I'm honest. We had a bit of car trouble. Oh no! What happened? It's, it's nothing to worry about. I'll explain later. But we're not going to make it. <sighs> Sorry. Oh. Just get home safe. Am I a bad father? No. I think you're a great dad. Look how far you've gone. You tried everything. What more could you do? I'll see you soon, then. Night, love. Good night. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Let your heart be light Next year All our troubles will be out of sight We're not in jail. We're here within store opening hours. You said you'd get us here. Now let's get that plastic unicorn. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bells chime jingle bell. Evening, squire. We have clicked and now we have come to collect. We have. I just need your payment card. No problemo. Sparkle Hoof, the unicorn princess. I think you find there's only one left in stock. <laughs> We've come from Bedford. Hey, Andy, we should contact the one show about this. They would love they this. Would, this is a proper story of that a lifetime. Welsh lady. There's no reservation against this card. Say what? There's no reservation against this card on the system. No, there definitely is. Just try again, please. No, nothing. What's happening, Dev? You definitely did buy it, did you? Yeah, I've got the email receipt. I've got the email receipt. We do need the payment card, unfortunately. Was it another card, Dev? You do strike me as a man who may have a lot of credit cards. It was definitely this card. Hold on a minute, this isn't my card. It's Jessica Hughes. There you go, madam. I've got your receipt to back for you. Merry Christmas. Ah, uh, that's Jessica Hughes. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. No, excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me. She's there. Come on, let's go. Come on, quick. She's getting away. Let's go, let's go. Pedal to the metal. What are you doing? Why are you stopping? Why exactly are we chasing a lone woman through a car park at night? That's the woman from the burger bar. Remember? She switched the cards. 
She's got your sparkle hoof. What are you doing? Calling the police. No, why? A crime's been committed. What, and how long are the police going to take to sort it out? A day? A week? A month? That's if they do anything at all. Tupac was shot and killed on the Las Vegas Strip, and to this day, his killer walks free. Oh. Now, you need your sparkle hoof tonight, am I right? Yeah. Am I right? Yes, but what are we going to do about it? I don't... Da -da 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 -da. Brown Santa's going to save Christmas. Sorry, who's Brown Santa? Me. Oh. Hey, 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 uh, uh, hey. Is Jessica still here? Sorry? Jess. Oh, God, I haven't missed that, have I? Oh, oh Jess there. Well, she finished a couple of hours ago. Damn it! I couldn't get away from the soup kitchen any earlier, and my phone's dead. Oh! Can I help you? Right. So you know her <laughs> who works at the noodle bar? Who? Her <laughs> who works at the noodle bar? Sue. Sue! Exactly. So, um, I'm Sue's husband, right? And... Didn't you die? I did die. I did, for six minutes, but then, God bless the NHS, they got the old ticket going again. Anyway, Sue asked me to give Jessie this Christmas present. Um, it's for her kid. I even hired a giant elf. Hiya. Hi. Damn it, guess her Christmas ruined. <sighs> Hold on, you wouldn't have her address, would you? That was amazing. Honestly, and I don't say this lightly, you reminded me of Lovejoy. Thank you. Stop, stop, stop. That's the one. talking to me. I actually do quite a lot of the contractual negotiations at work. Granted, a lot of that's by email, but... Dev? Bingo. We're not negotiating. What are you doing? No one's home. We're breaking in. No, we're obviously not. We've got a credit card. You can open locks with credit cards. We're not breaking in! Right, Andy, listen to me. In a few hours, either her kid's Christmas is ruined or yours is. Now, give me that credit card. Will it work with a visa debit? Oh, yes. Have you done this before? Nah. But how hard can it be? Ugh. Harder than it looks, apparently. Hold that. No, don't! It's the only way. It's for Emily. There's another way. There's no other way. There is another way. Look, just there. Oh, there is another way. Right? Classic key under the gnome. Tears for the virgin birth 
the right thing to do. What else could you do? You're a good man. Let's get a dirty little burger and go home. Are oh, you going to have to spot me, though, because I've got any cash? I assume that would be the case. You're a good man. What are you writing? Dearest Emily, Father Christmas here. It's very unusual for me to write directly to clients. Children? Children. But unfortunately, you will not receive the gift you requested because of supply chain issues due to market uncertainty surrounding Brexit. Despite the fact you've been an extremely good girl this year, Hey, come on. You'll get a one in a few days' time. Right? What's the difference? You were right. People go way over the top about Christmas. Tomorrow's just another day. It's not, though, is it? It's Christmas Day. Why don't we have a quick go on the arcades? Because I'm 43 years old. And your point is? <laughs> this is how I get on my cardio. <laughs> Another? Yeah. I mean, yeah, if you want one, yeah. Go on, then, do you want to... Oh, cheers. <laughs> Yep, yep. fingers. Yep. Oh. My. Days. Andy, come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh. My. Days. All right, listen. This is my domain. I've got this. Cash you got left. 20. Go and get it changed. I'm gonna get you that plastic unicorn. This is our last pound.
Andy, I'm sorry. I let you down. It's over. No, it's not. A wise man once said to me, it's Christmas. People like to help. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, if I can have your attention, please. I know what you're thinking, and I am not a drug addict. I am not a drinker. I'll occasionally have a mulled wine, um, and probably just the one, and almost always with food. Uh, but the point is, I am trying to save my daughter's Christmas. All she wants is a plastic unicorn, but because of me, tomorrow she's going to open a chemistry set, which, let's face it, is basically just extra school. Uh, but if you were able to help me tonight, reach into your pockets and give any spare change, uh, and spare change, I should clarify, does include £10 notes, then tomorrow I can see my daughter smile on Christmas morning. Oh, you people make me sick. OK, mate. No, I mean, look at them. Um, All right, Andy. Skin flints. Okay, yeah, you heard it. I read an article, actually. You shouldn't give them money. Much better to give to a charity. All out of luck, eh, boys? Well, I know all about that. Let's see if we can't do something here. Every child ought to get what they want at Christmas. <laughs> Wait, could it be, could it? <sighs> no, definitely not. Last night. Come on, come on. <sighs> kiss it. I don't want to kiss it. I tramp at it in his oh. pocket. Something I didn't mention on the drive up out of, if I'm honest, selfishness, mm. is that if you were to look in my jacket pocket, you will find some yogurt covered raisins. Come on! Yeah. <laughs> Keep them in there for Emily. She's a lovely, sweet girl, but if she has anything with E numbers, she is an absolute fascist. I mean, a real. Little what? Fan. You got me a card? Don't open that. Why not? Don't open that because it's not Christmas Day yet. Oh, really? So you got well, guess what? It will be in five, four, let me, three, let me, let me two, be two tomorrow morning. One, yeah. Dev. We are not friends. You're just the bloke who lives next door. What happened was I wrote that 
uh, just late at night and I hadn't really slept much. But I'm, There was no call from the council, was there? No. But like I say, honestly, it, I, it, that was before tonight, yeah. and just hanging out, and yeah, getting to know you and yeah. know you. And, you know, and, and, Andy, you know what? It, it's completely fine. I, I, I get it, man. It's cool. Honestly, it's cool. I'm cool. Yeah? Yeah. Of course. Good. <laughs> Let's get the tunes back yeah. on, yeah? Come on. <laughs> Thanks again for all your help with. Yeah, yeah, no problem. And I, you know, when the madness of the season's over, we should uh, get that drink. 100%. Merry Christmas. like a big elf? It's a valid question. What's wrong? I can't sleep. Why not? Because the lights aren't on. Used to that, that'll be happening all Christmas. Rocking around Christmas tree at the Christmas party hop. Everyone, everyone, can I have your attention, please? Just want to uh, introduce you to someone. This is Dev. He lives next door, and he's my friend. Merry Christmas. My jumper lights up. Oh, oh, surprises. Join in! Daddy, look, Sparkwood wants to play. Oh, brilliant! Dev, what are you drinking? I'll just have a pint of fizzy lemonade, please. Oh, don't let him open the bottle. <laughs> we bought fizz last time. <laughs> Oh God, honestly, it was like the most epic journey ever. Like we were just, we were relentless. We were relentless to get that Christmas toy. What I want, you got <laughs> we was a little bit like that Arnold Schwarzenegger film, you know? Um... Yeah, Jingle All The Way. No, Terminator 2. Yeah, so then we had an amazing Christmas. Now we're basically best friends forever, BFFs. <laughs> I said, 
tell you what, though, it sounds exhausting. I mean, what's on the cards for 2019? Are you putting your feet up? Well, we've got two weeks planned in Mauritius. Have we? Well, you've got to let me know dates, because I need to book time off work. No, no, me and my wife and, and child. Andy, come on, I'll bring my little boys along as well. We'll make it a big family holiday. And of course, Emily needs to meet Ethan, because, I mean, they're probably going to end up, you know, getting married. <laughs> well, I, I don't think we can assume that, can we? True, it's a bit old-fashioned. They'll probably just live together in sin. So, uh... No, I, I just meant, I, I, you know, we can't be sure they're going to hit it off. <laughs> hit it off? Are you joking? My little boy, Ethan, yeah? He's like me. Imagine me, but with no inhibition. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that is uh, it's a wonderful story, lads. Thanks ever so much for coming in. Thank you, sir. Uh, <laughs> now we're off to Budley Salterton, where Giles Brandreth has been tasting the world's largest scotch egg. That sounds excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Eggs. No, excellent. I got it. I got it yeah. <laughs> God, I love this show. I'll tell you what, I don't care what Andy says. I reckon you're better than Adrian Charles. I never said anything about Adrian Charles. I've never... I think you're the best there's ever been, yeah. including for seven.